We are smack dab in the middle of the city, downtown Toronto, in a townhouse. Our clients are a young couple with a child and got in touch with us to work with them to completely revamp and renovate their entire main floor. The space is small. It's about 400 square feet if I'm being generous. And because it's a townhouse, there really are only windows in the front and in the back. And we actually decided to play with that and went sort of like the moody, gothy sort of vibe. I know, very risque. Is that risque? No. Our original brief actually for the kitchen was like a goth apothecary sort of vibe, which we ran with that direction and gave the space a bit more personality and made it super sexy. The before kitchen, I mean, it was fine. I mean, not to poo-poo on white cabinetry, um, but really what it lacked was function and storage. There were obviously some aesthetic things as well that were pain points, I guess. We had a really awkward bulkhead that was in front of the windows. Sometimes bulkheads and drop ceilings are just there for no reason. Um, it does require you, not you physically, but a co good, co an experienced contractor to be able to poke some holes, take a look at what's behind the bulkheads. In our case, we were able to expose that beautiful window and give our clients a lot more light. So consult with your contractor and your designer, obviously, and get rid of anything that's not necessary and doesn't need to be there. This enabled us to bring the cabinets up to the ceiling and maximize storage. We spent a lot of time consulting with our clients, but also planning out all the functions and functionality of this kitchen. We added pull-out drawers literally everywhere, or as many as we could fit, integrated appliances, dishwasher drawer, microwave drawer, and a ton of pantry storage, which is quite frankly, a little unheard of in small spaces. Our client has a lovely family heirloom collection of china that's been passed down to her and is very sentimental. So we ended up designing this really beautiful dining hutch cabinet that really flows nicely with the kitchen. I mean, it's the same finished design as the rest of the cabinetry in the kitchen and it really ties the two spaces nicely together. In a small space like this dining room, we really toyed around with a whole host of different furniture options and in the end decided that going custom was the best way to go. Previously, our clients had a very large harvest table. It was beautiful, but it was just way too overwhelming for the space. It prevented proper flow from the kitchen into the living space. And by slightly tweaking the proportions of the furniture that we put in here, we completely opened up the space. We can't make the space wider, but we can make it appear larger by putting in appropriately scaled furniture into the area. The table is in a regular shape. It's a kidney-shaped table, not something that you would see every day, but it sort of worked within the space. And to get a max number of bums at this table, we couldn't fit a bank out in here, unfortunately, so a bench is the next best option. The living room didn't really change all that much. It was more of a decorating facelift. Initially, we had talked about doing a custom sofa, but for budget reasons, we decided to keep the sofa that they have, and it's beautiful. It works well, it's large, it fits their whole family. We included a beautiful silk wallpaper that's really like luxe -y. It's very she-she. New lighting, drapery. I mean, I'm a huge fan of drapery, always layering. So in this case, we layered shears with beautiful wool. They really add a beautiful dramatic effect to the space and really soften everything up. We also refaced the fireplace. It's non-functioning, it's purely decorative. We had it clad in a quartzite, this beautiful material that our clients ended up choosing, and then we just painted out the inside. And it looks awesome. Like it's just, it's kind of a focal feature, but it sort of just disappears into the background as well. And just because it doesn't really work, why not make it beautiful? Part of our design brief as well was to really focus on Canadian vendors and makers. We took that to heart and worked with as many of our favorite makers as we could. The cabinetry is by Hamilton Homes. 
The lighting in the kitchen is by Milky Bow. The lighting in the dining room is by Lightmaker. The table and the bench are by Arking. The floor is from a local supplier, Monser. So even though most of these pieces are custom and they do tend to cost a little bit more, it really does make a space more unique and way less cookie cutter. I mean, in my opinion, there really are no hard and fast rules that small spaces have to be white and bright. It really does depend on the person, the space, the personality. One rule that we go by when we work on small spaces is we try to customize as much as we can. Customizing, particularly in smaller spaces, really does make a huge difference. It allows you to use the space to the best ability and have a space and a place for everything and avoid that clutter.